Greetings programs, welcome back to Arc Neo Reviews. So, while this isn't actually what I'm looking at in the video today, I did want to bring the BitBoy back into, uh, back in front of the camera for just a second. Kind of cover the fact that, um, one, the, uh, firmware is actually updated since I downloaded what I thought was the current firmware. I managed to download it, like, the day before the, uh, next update came out. So here I'm properly running the newest, newest firmware. And, um, as you can probably see here, it's got even more stuff. Um, I haven't had time to go through it all, but things are definitely working better. Um, the, the Super Nintendo still isn't 100%, but they have actually made massive improvements on getting it to work. So, you know, a good stuff on there. And I wanted to point out that part of the reason I was having so much trouble with it in the last update video, they changed the hotkeys on it. So now, instead of holding select and using the face buttons, you now hold the R button and use the D-pad, which makes a lot more sense and works a lot better, frankly. As well as, if I remember right, that must have been... Yeah, it, it will actually power down now from you holding the R button instead of having to go into the menu and do all that. Yeah, I know, I just got fingerprints on the screen. But, um, yeah, that's a thing that I missed updating on that really quick. Uh, so, th these things are not as janky as I was making it look in my infinite stupidity. But, to get to the actual topic of today's video, we're looking at the... Mini music game. So, this is going to be the last of these ROM boxes, you know, weird knockoff system whatevers I'm looking at for the, foresee the foreseeable future. And, um, I hate to say it, but we are very much going out with a whimper. So, first thing right off the bat, you'll notice that it's got a screen capture of Xenoblade Chronicles X on the front. No, it can't run Xenoblade Chronicles X as much as I wish it could because that game is awesome. Nintendo, please port it. Um, other than that, just has the name on the sides. On the back it says which color and uh, it's supposed to say which SD card size you got. But they didn't mark that one in. Plain back. Here we've got the system itself. Um, and I do have to say, I really like the design of this thing. Um, yes, I know the screen is... The screen is terrible, on this one in particular, about just gathering any dust and fingerprints it can. In fact, that didn't work. Let me try a different... Yeah, I know. I do my stuff live, and so you get fun footage of screen cleaning sometimes. Yay. <laughs> but um, I, I like the form factor of this. It's super thin. You know... It's really clean looking, and that's where the pros kind of end. So, before we turn it on, um, Super Nintendo buttons down here, select and start. The second worst D-pad I've seen on any of these systems. It's It's got that thing where it pushes down in the middle like a button, so... You, it's not very good for, you know, quick action games. Uh, back to menu button up here. And then the volume on this thing is actually pretty interesting. Because it's this little slider. So you actually just hold it up or down, obviously, to change your volume. So that's neat. It does actually have a metal, uh, you know, cover there on the speaker. Which is, you know, a nice little touch. Um... It's actually using Torx Spit to, uh, you know, screw it shut, which is interesting. You know, th physically this thing's cool. But go ahead, turn it on here. Uh, SD card on the side. Worth mentioning, actually, there is a uh, th uh, warranty sticker over this, uh, over the SD card. So um, you do technically void your warranty by taking that off. And um, this thing's not great. Now, as you can see, it starts out with, you know, music and uh, video players. 
I'm not going to go into the music player. It plays MP3s. Not much to really see there. It works fine, frankly. You know, here, let's go ahead and uh, cut the light. That cut the lights there. I'm trying a new lighting setup. Hopefully, it works. But um, so you know, that's you know, it, that's whatever. It does that fine. Um, sound quality is not too bad. Then it's got a video player where it comes with three stolen anime uh, clips, and then. You know, I put a video on here, you know, of my own, so that I could actually play that on this video. It won't play it. It just starts it up for a couple seconds and then skips to the Naruto clip that's on here. So, that's, um, annoying. It's got a file browser, so you can go through and look at your files. I, there's no point in going in there. I don't know why it's here. In here you've got your setup, switch its language, if it doesn't just kick you out of the menu. Um, change the brightness in here, there's a big delay when you do that. Here you've got your screen timeout, I'm actually going to bump that up to 30 for now. Uh, when you get this thing it will actually have the key tone open as it says, which means it has a, oh, I guess I have the volume down all the way. No. Hmm. Well, it was you playing a very annoying um, blip sound every time I did something, but apparently after you turn it off once, it goes away forever. And it's got a version number down here, which makes me think you might be able to update firmware on this thing. I'm not sure. I don't think you can. But we'll go up here into game, kind of the important part of this thing. It does have six built-in emulators with, you know, not very fitting uh, icons. So you've got your Nintendo, Super Nintendo, or Super Famicom, as it's expecting there. Sega Mega Drive, Genesis to the Americans, like me, obviously. <laughs> wow, you can tell I watch a lot of British crap. And then it's, it's got your three models of Game Boy. And, um, it came with a crap load of ROMs on it, actually, but I have narrowed the list down a bit just to uh, make this easier yes it will bring you to this menu every or this screen before you start a game or while you're in your games options stuff I hate this picture of monkeys I wish I could get it to go away it's so hard to see the text because of this way too busy picture And here we have our first problem. The sound does not work right on the regular Nintendo stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, that's terrible back out of this and exit the game so original nintendo doesn't have good sound but at least it kind of runs okay go in here into fight uh super nintendo and pick something i can just kind of drop into the gameplay really quick on As you can tell, um, crunchy, terrible audio, and, uh, horrible, horrible gameplay. So, even from the menu, you can tell there, um, your Super Nintendo is a no-go. So, exit that. Again, I hate... Especially looking through a viewfinder, that's almost impossible to see. Because of those stupid monkeys. Um, go into the Sega Mega Drive here. And this is probably the worst, actually. Also, fun fact. This thing only has a 500 milliamp battery life. You will see this depleting just as I record. But, 
go ahead, we'll load up Jurassic Park. I used to love this game when I was a kid. Sound is, you know, mostly okay, and the, uh, the gameplay speed is good. But, once we get into gameplay... Um... So, I've got my attack button, and my change my weapon button. But, here, I guess probably need the light for this. Um... The Genesis has three buttons. They only mapped two. You have B and C. They didn't give you an A button. You can't jump in this game. Wonderfully done. So, exit that. I guess I'm just gonna leave the lights back on with this different lighting system. This kind of works. So, yeah. None of the actual consoles they work, they put on here, actually work for various reasons. Come down here to... The Game Boy stuff. Load up the best game in the Donkey Kong series. And thankfully, the games work here. Now, weirdly and kind of annoyingly... Here, let me turn this down. Um, they did not actually map things to B and A. They mapped it to Y and X. To be fair, they did keep the buttons in the correct order. So, this is B and this is A. And, uh, you know, so aside from the weird aspect ratio, Game Boy works decently on here. You know, especially something... Well, I take it back. Apparently there's a layering issue. I have not seen that one before. <laughs> Last game I tried on this thing worked fine. Oh, right. <laughs> Never mind that one. That 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 was my mistake hitting the wrong buttons again. Um so as you can see, um button response not that great on here. Just making it a uh, very fun to play this, but you know, Game Boy works at least. Game Boy Color, Let's see, go ahead and pull up, let's pull up Spider-Man. And, um, it, it, this is kind of the same story with the, uh, as the original Game Boy. Um, games work just fine, you know, weird aspect ratio, sound is a little crunchy, but... You know, it, 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 it works here. We'll wait till we get to some actual gameplay just so I can show some scrolling and stuff, not just static pictures. Um, there is a little bit of screen tearing, but it's minimal at least. I've seen some systems have, you know, enough screen tearing that it made it actually unplayable. Here, the only thing making it unplayable is the terrible bat uh, D-pad. So, you know... Th this game works pretty well, actually. Then, lastly here, we have Game Boy Advance. Which... Here, let's load Crash Bandicoot. I think I can just get straight into the gameplay with this one. Once it gets done showing me a million logos. Um, sound emulation, not as smooth as it was on the others. A and B are in a uh, normal spot again, at least, here. And then uh, you have your L and R up here. And uh, again, you run into a weird aspect ratio. This one, it's being, the footage is being like, or not footage, but the screen is being compressed. 
So things are actually a little bit taller than they should be. But again, you know, it, it works fine enough. You can play Crash Bandicoot badly. Because I'm just terrible at this game, but again, the bad controls don't help. And that's kind of your lot for this thing. It has six emulators, three of which don't work at all, three of which work with, you know, some caveats. You've got a video player that will only play videos that are like under five minutes long, otherwise it just skips them. And then you've got an MP3 player that doesn't have enough battery life to be worth using as an MP3 player. So yeah, overall this thing just kind of sucks, which is a bummer. Again, I like the form factor of it, I like what it's trying to do, but it, it sucks. Now, this thing did come with some accessories, go over those super fast. Um, it came with a pair of headphones, these things are junk, they, they don't work at all, um, like audio will come out of one side and as you twist the jack it switches which side it's actually coming out of they're they're terrible they sound bad it came with a charging cable yay it's a mini usb or micro usb you know cable kind of hard to screw that up they didn't screw that up yay and then it came with a controller with PlayStation buttons on it. <laughs> and um, this thing feels just as bad to use as the real system does. And now the thing that's kind of cool about these little systems when they come with controllers is it usually lets you, you know, take your system, just, you know, lean it against something and play with the controller. This one can't even do that. This will only work as a player 2 input, which means you have to play one of the th three systems that doesn't work. Also, yeah, it just plugs in like a headphone jack. So this thing actually has, you know, two headphone jacks on the top. If it if these little icons rub off, you're going to have some trouble. And it looks like the uh, headphone one has already started to rub off. This thing hasn't even seen a pocket. This thing's just sat in various places on my desk. So, yeah, overall, um, this thing's a piece of crap. Don't waste your time. Get a Retro Boy. Or, uh, a Bit Boy. I think there is a Retro Boy, too. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, get a Bit Boy. Their Bit Boy just costs a few dollars more than this thing. And Bit Boy's great. This thing sucks.